Hey, welcome back to my channel, Best Practice Gaming. My name is Rob. Had another great day at work, getting organized to succeed. I've also organized some of my gameplay in SnowRunner here so I can complete this quest, so let's have a look at it. Cargo Apocalypse. What a surprise. Since you're here anyways, how about earning some extra cash? All you need to do is deliver about three times the norm in one go. Though, if you do recruit some help, you should be done in no time. It's kind of hard because they're they're wording the quests like they're speaking like like normal speaking English, but they're also writing it out at the same time. So, let's do the quest here. I've got the concrete blocks. The driver's asleep at the wheel when he's awake. And let's get going. Yeah, so definitely drop a line in the chat if you're playing SnowRunner or any of the new seasons of SnowRunner or you're playing Expeditions. I played a little bit of Expeditions. It's definitely not like SnowRunner, that's for sure. Or if you're excited for the new uh, Roadcraft game is what I'm trying to say. That looks exciting. Roadcraft is sort of what SnowRunner is actually missing which is a way to smooth out the roads as, as you go along, or fix fix the roads as you go along, so that game looks interesting. And then I was checking out some of the trucks from the new seasons, and it looks like they took some ideas from Expeditions, like having, having radar on top of your vehicle, and they put that in some of the trucks, so... I'll be eager to try some of those trucks out and see what, how that works out. Instead of just having like a little tow radar piece that you get in one of the maps, you just uh, roll around with radar on your truck, which sounds interesting to me and sounds a lot easier. Yeah, this warehouse is always in a weird spot on this mapping. White River here is just like kind of in the middle of the mountain, so you have to go around to get to it.
definitely almost there. And then for the next round of this trip, I'm going to try to pair two trucks together because they're large pipes and then just drive one truck individually. So I'll see how that works out. This was going to be a much longer video because of just how much cargo that needed to be delivered. Plus, I'm not doing any co-op or anything like that. Alright, let's scare that. Let's go check out some of the other cargo I have to deliver. Alright, I have made it to Mountain River. I faced a few tricky situations on the way here. Let's go drop off this pipe. really close there. I thought that I was going to tip the truck over. Looks like the uh, trailer itself is just too heavy for this area, so I've got an idea. This is like old school snow running right here. Yeah, it looks like the little little warthog didn't really quite cut it at the end here.
There we go. Alright. I finally got this pipe up the hill here. Alright, after a little bit of driving, I finally got both trucks over to the Mountain River area. Let's go ahead and deliver this cargo here. I'm going to do it one at a time, so let's get going. Uh, the drive over here wasn't too bad. Nothing, nothing tricky didn't happen or anything like that. Plus, I expect these two trucks to be able to get... Uh, these uh, pipes here up the hill with no problem because that's the route I'm going.
point that wraps up this quest, Cargo Apocalypse. Definitely not an easy quest. Everything that can go wrong sort of went wrong in this quest. But if you like what you're seeing, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit the bell notification icon for more videos and safe driving to everyone and have a great day.